What's up everyone? My name is Cody Engel. I am a staff software engineer and in this video I want to talk about what it means for like dry code. Um, does it matter? Should you like strive for that or um, is it really just kind of a bunch of uh, malarkey? Yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, so dry, it stands for don't repeat yourself. And so sometimes in merge requests or you know folks that I've worked with in the past, they will leave comments um, in code that is duplicate, like you're you're repeating yourself. And they'll say, "Hey, could you dry this dry this code up a bit?" And the idea around that is you don't want to repeat yourself when you're writing software. Partly because just the nature of software, you can write functions, you can abstract things into classes. All of programming inherently allows you to avoid repeating yourself. And so what you want to do to write good code is abstract things that make sense. So uh, if I have this form that I'm going to have a visitor sign, fill out every single time, maybe I just want to create a class for forms that makes creating new forms easier, uh, can kind of abstract all of the validation and all of that fun stuff into one consolidated place. Sometimes where I found uh, using don't repeat yourself going wrong is when you when you do this prematurely. When you see something and you're like, oh, you know what, I think I may reuse this in the future. Uh, I'm only using it once right now, but I, I'll, I'll create a function for it, I'll abstract all of this stuff out, and, uh, and it'll be great. Sometimes this works out really well. Like if you are like explicitly planning for that, you've already, designed a larger system and you have general plans going forward, that thinking can work really great. Where it doesn't work so well is that in the moment programming, which I feel like happens about like 75% of the time when you're actually in uh, the feature working on it, you're adding a couple things, uh, and then you think maybe maybe this will be a good idea. Um, and, and then you find like you end up trying to force your implementation into that abstraction that you have created. And so while dry can be really handy, another acronym that I think makes a little bit more sense is, uh, is wet code. And so W-E-T, what it stands for is write everything twice. And this, I think it's a little bit more at the heart of dry, dry programming, dry, dry code. Um, it's not that you want your code to be to never repeat itself. But what you should do is you should make sure that you are writing everything at least twice. Once you get to the third time that you're writing essentially the exact same thing, you should look and go, hmm, wonder if we could um, make an abstraction for this. I wonder if we could make a either just a function or another class. Would that kind of clean things up a bit? And so wet, I think, is a much more true to life version of what people intend when they say dry programming. Now, another one that I've seen come up um, a little bit more recently is called AHA programming. AHA stands for avoid hasty abstractions. And so the idea behind that is similar to uh, wet, except it's a little bit more vague. So it's not saying that you have to write everything twice. It's just saying, hey, you know, don't, don't feel like you have to abstract things right away. Don't feel like you have to be hasty in, uh, in abstracting things out. So uh, that is kind of it for this video. Um, a little bit of a shorter one. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Um, you know, dry programming can be great, but at the same time, just keep in mind, you don't want to um, like live and die by that. I, I think the other acronyms out there, uh, wet and aha, uh, capture the actual intent of it a bit better, where if you do find yourself repeating yourself, just create an abstraction for it. And typically when you get to that point where you are creating or you're repeating yourself uh, more than once, you have a better idea of how the usage will look, how it might may change and what you would actually want to abstract out into those functions or classes. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or just want to leave some, some general comments, uh, just do it down below. Um, otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe, and if you haven't already, click the bell icon. Um, you'll get push notifications whenever I upload a new video. And uh, I hope this video came out a little bit more clear than the than the last two. Um, I realized as I was recording, uh, I left 
manual focus on. So uh, manual focus isn't very great when you're recording videos. Um, it's a little bit better when you're doing like photography. So anyway, going on a little bit of a tangent there. Thank you again, and I'll catch you in the next one.